Welcome to the Renaissance Gathering, coming to you today from Washington, D.C. Isaiah 40, 28 instructs us, Do you not know, have you not heard, the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, does not become weary or tired. His understanding is inscrutable. A leading viral doctor from a major hospital recently said, we do not know what to do about this pandemic because we do not know our creator. We serve a very personal God. He knows us from the inside out. He is not distant or clinical because he is our creator. What peace there is in knowing our creator loves us. He knows every intricate aspect of our bodies. He created our bodies and when they are afflicted with disease or injury, only he knows how to restore and repair us. The Bible establishes this beautiful reality in Psalm 133, for you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth. During a time of prayer for our nation, I stood outside the Health and Human Services Agency building and experienced the emptiness, the futility of the humanistic endeavors, man trying to help man using only man's ways and leaving our creator God on the sidelines. We are not consulting the creator God as the only one who knows the real answers, how to stop disease and restore health, or how to heal minds and bring peace to hearts. Oh, the power and authority that comes to one who longs to heal and seeks creator God as his or her source of knowledge understanding, and creativity. Many years ago, the African-American pastor S.M. Lockridge from San Diego, California, preached a now very famous message entitled, That's My King. In his message, he described the fullness of who Jesus is and asked the question, I wonder, do you know him? He's the center of civilization. He stands alone in himself, shouted the preacher. I wonder, do you know him? Our creator God is at the center of all things in heaven and on earth. He is the greatest consultant when we are perplexed and longing for answers to the hardest questions of life. His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and excellence. Through these, he has given us his precious and magnificent promises so that through them you may become partakers of his divine nature now that you have escaped the corruption of the world. Second Peter 1, 3. I ask you today, I wonder, do you know him? These are difficult and confusing times, but our creator is not the author of confusion. He is the mighty God the everlasting Father and the Prince of Peace. And today we acknowledge him and worship him for who he is. 
If you know him, take full advantage of all he has provided in his word and his offered relationship. If you don't know him yet, call out to him and receive his promise of salvation spiritually, physically, and emotionally. He will hear you. And today we pray these things. We say these things. We share the truth of God's word in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.